Hello YouTube, Psychofox here. So, I've had a few things arrive in the post today. A nice 1990s white keyboard and a two-band mouse. And there's my Amstradam Mega PC joypad. So I've got it all hooked up. I've got the monitor hooked up via the kettle lead extension there. To uh, extension and I've got the kettle lead to the actual computer also plugged in. You can plug the monitor in above here but puts a bit of load on the power supply so I've not done that. Also got a nice new 3.5 inch floppy which I'm going to try and install. But unfortunately this thing is missing a door. When you take the fascia off this thing the door comes with it so it'll fit but it won't have a little door, a little, um, little flap there which is a bit annoying but I might be there rig summing up. So I've also got somewhere a battery, there it is, hiding down here. There's a lithium rechargeable battery which will get soldered in there, in there where the old NICAD was. So I'll just show you this thing boots up and we'll have a little look at Mega Drive game. So I'll turn it on at the back here, turn the monitor on, now I've got the keyboard all plugged in, you'll be able to see uh, to get this thing running. I've been adjusting the uh, adjusting the height, there we go. So system battery is dead, replace and run setup. So the system battery stores the BIOS information. So without it you have to go into setup every time. Disk get error because there's no disk drive. So we want to go F2 into setup. So we're going to have to go into setup. So what you want to do is go down to fixed disk type 0 and F6 it all the way up to 17, 17, then I think you do F9, press any key, right, escape out of that. Safe configuration, yes. Escape to exit from that. So that's how you boot it up without um, the BIOS settings being saved. You just have to scroll up to <coughs> select the uh, hard disk type number 17. So it's found the mouse. No drive A. F1, let's resume. Starting MS DOS. It's lovely old sounds coming from this thing. Quite a noisy fan. So we got. Let's go for. Windows 3.1. If anyone knows what those other things are, please tell me because I'm not too sure. So there's Windows 3.1. So you get a beautiful picture on this Acorn monitor. It's connected via 15-pin VGA cable there. Now the Amstrad monitor used an extra pin, so that's actually a 14-pin. One pin isn't used, but the Amstrad monitor used an extra pin for sound because it had built-in speakers. So that's just the Windows desktop I, uh, I showed the other day. Lots of nice little old-school games there. So. I want to place a Mega Drive, we just slide that across, that click, look how the monitor is looking for <coughs> 15 kilohertz. So let's get a game, in this case, Outrun. And there's no on off for this, there's a joypad port, so obviously not much point using them because my joypad port 1 is out of action. So. There's no one off switch, there's a little um, contact when this cartridge goes in, it turns the Mega Drive on. So let's push that in and look at the screen. And there we go. We've got no sound at the moment either because we've not, um, not got any external speakers set up. So there we've got Outrun. Now on the actual um, Amstrad monitor, there'd be far less borders, top and bottom, and you wouldn't get that slight distortion you're getting here. I mean you can you can stretch the picture up a little bit to compensate. 
so it's not bad and you actually get a really nice picture by this uh, VGA cable it's really crisp and the colours are quite nice so yeah this is the first day I've actually tried the Mega Drive ISA card and that's we've actually we've got uh, two RAM slots occupied down there so there is space for extra RAM for the PC side of things which I may be utilising so yeah it's uh, quite a nice picture as you can see so kind of cool to see uh, Amstrad running Mega Drive games like this and I think you'll agree the whole thing looks pretty good now I've got the old uh, nice keyboard not dissimilar to the actual Amstrad one this thing came with so not a bad setup at the moment just need to get that battery sorted and get that joypad port sorted yeah so really pleased with the uh, Acorn monitor as well really seems to be giving a good image so yeah more updates to follow. Thanks for watching.